Well, hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, Jurassic Park Minecraft. Well, it's been, that I was just looking back how long ago we did our last episode, 206, which was released on the 10th of July, it is now the 18th of August. Uh, we had the preceded two releases of the new Fossil and Archaeology mod and the new Jurassic Craft. And I had to go on holiday, which was brilliant. I went to uh, Crete, uh, had a fantastic trip away, so there's lots of prep there. So really haven't done, uh, got back to this until now. Very sorry, but uh, that's the way life goes, people. Yeah, I went to Crete and uh, you'll be able to see pictures of that on my video of the Pokemon uh, Go video in Crete uh, where we did some stuff but I've got some video footage on that showing us what I did whilst on my holiday well I've come back with a suntan anyway so all is good so of course oh, Jurassic Craft 1.10 has come out and 1.94 which has caused me a lot of problems a lot of issues uh, however a couple of updates has solved it we are still for this episode, the last episode that we will do in 1.8 uh, Jurassic Craft. We're in pre-release 3, which people keep asking me, where can I get pre-release 3, which I'm using because I found it to be most stable. The, you can get the pre-release 5 on the Jurassic Craft site, but if you go and download and look at my maps on planetminecraft.com, you'll be able to see, and the link is in the description, you'll be able to see there the mod pack that I use for this particular set of videos and the Jurassic Craft pack. There's no way that that mod pack uh, or the pack with all the mods in will work with anything else but the uh, folders I've given there and also one big thing you have to remember this only works with Forge 1521. There's loads of forges but uh, again I've mentioned that in the description. So, what were we doing last time? Well, here we were finishing off the base of the Innovation Centre, if you remember. And we'd spent a lot of time uh, doing the Innovation Centre and getting it absolutely right. Uh, so, what we're going to do this episode, we're going to have a quick episode where I want to lay out the uh, tracks here for the lake. So, we want to get these pathways down. I just want to do this area here with the bridge around the waterway and uh, finish off that fence on the other side there. What I really do want to make sure though is we get the lighting right. Uh, the other thing I haven't finished off really is the front with the steps and the garden at the front as well so a bit of work here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay out some pathways on the ground uh, and sort of get because we did all this bit we finished the uh, petting zoo. I think all the dinosaurs have gone missing. I think they've all gone. There's nothing left. Everyone's gone. Shouldn't have gone uh, because I haven't used this map in anything else. Ah uh, no, I, I had a bit of trouble reloading the map. Might have to repopulate it. However, as we're going to be moving to 1.7.10, there's going to be no dinosaurs here except the baby little ones that we're going to put in because we can put a few in the uh, in these pens down here so we're all right because uh, we've got seven dinosaurs to play with that also means now that I can do some Jurassic Park builds and uh, the next episode after this we're going to start our Jurassic Park and we're going to start with the epic uh, two epic builds one is the uh, waterfall and landing site where they come in and of course with Minecraft uh, Jurassic Craft 1.7.10 we've got the Jeeps so uh, I want to use those straight away. So what I'm going to do is spend just a little time getting these pathways exactly how I want them. Uh, let me just get this here. Yeah, let me just go over here because I've got uh, this mountain's got to go here. <laughs> got to take it out. But that's a bit of thing because the water park is going to go here. Right, so let's just have a look. If we go to around about there, yeah, that's there. So that comes round. This is a massive pathway. You can see that's there. And then there's a weavy path back in. So I'm going to have to also the weavy path goes out the back. So we've also got a, a rise and fall here. Maybe I'll be able to do that with the bridge. That might be ideal where we 
this area can be raised and I can landscape it round. That that is probably what I'm gonna do. Because that'll make it a lot easier to do that. And then I can this is all level over here. Hey, we've got some horses. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that this bit here. I think we've got everything right here. Oh no, I haven't finished off that bit as well, did I? Just got that bit and the steps come down. Maybe we can have some sort of way here to do it. <clears throat> right, I think I used, did I use blocks? I did. Uh, we use quartz slab. So I'm going to do a bit more. Uh, laying, once I've laid out the pathways, I'm nearly happy. I will then come back and do this bridge bit, I think. That's the first bit because it's a bit more fun doing that. And uh, Oh, that's it. Is that exactly right? No. Uh, did I... If I remember rightly, look, we're missing the bit at the end, which is going to match that. Yeah, that's the feature at the end, so I need to copy that over the other side. Right, okay, I'm going to do a little more, and then we'll come back, as usual. Okay, so I've been doing quite a bit. Uh, it takes a lot of time to lay stuff out. Uh, first of all, I've been sort of redesigning the front. Uh, if you remember, we had some, we had like a bit that stuck out over here, which is actually a walkway. Now, what happens is there's a uh, a ramp that comes up from this level, goes up, and then you go back round and go in, and that would be for wheelchair access, of course. So we're going to put that ramp in. And then once you get up there, you can walk around to the back side. And at the back side here, it's just like got some greenery. Then you can start seeing the uh, monorail station over here, which we're going to put in. And I'll show you the pathway in a minute that I'm laying out. So what I've done is I made sure it sort of lights up at night as well. I put in lighting underneath because it is on the diagrams and the pictures I have. It's got like a post like a load of posts sitting up there so it's like a raised area so what I've done is I have done the second side oh you can see more here <laughs> yeah I've been doing quite a bit uh, and you can see the raised area here which again will disappear because once we put the ramp in on this side and I've got to work out where exactly that will be <clears throat> with the steps and these are just uh, from the it could be from any mod that's the furniture mod uh, i don't know what these are from but hey they just sort of replace when we move some maps so then you can see that i put in the second uh, gateway to match the first one uh, which is exactly the same size over here so i had to lay that out which meant that i had to start i'm starting to put the pathway in here with the sandstone i had to reconfigure the fence here so over here what I've done is birch wood yeah what I've done is it's on the diagrams it is a fence with darker posts and the wood in between so that I know the fence would be narrower but nope for the purposes of this we're gonna leave it like that just to make it give the impression that it's a fence and it's got the colors as done there so that's that bit and I'll just finish this off and it goes round to the sort of blocks don't be you don't get any way to see into the area behind because it's sort of a work area we don't really know what it is for it's full of trees it's a rock formation it's got some sort of it's almost like I, I've always thought it's like a penguin enclosure some sort of water creatures from looking from the uh, stills we've got off the scene itself so I might make a more water feature of it over here because it sort of overlooks restaurants over here so it's probably a good idea to put this rock feature this is what I put this in ages ago and we'll make it some sort of feature for a small sort of amphibious not happy well we're sort of dinosaur it's all it's almost like an enclosure for a dinosaur that likes lots of water so we'll have to look at that in future uh, so that sort of comes around here i have to reshape the water and start putting in where the fence is going to go 
no sorry fence the uh, where the bridge and the bridge is literally going to come across here at an angle which is going to be quite difficult uh, I'll do that once I've filled in the sandstone over there and then the, what I'm going to do is not the same as the real I'm going to have to do so, a sort of feature bridge uh, which is going to come across here and then also go into the innovation center here as well so that'll be all right so what have I started doing right I've started laying out the pathways as they will be here uh, I've decided where the grass steps might meet up with this I've decided this is somewhere around here that there's going to be a small incline to get it up to this level and then we also have to get up to this level by this gateway so I think I'm just going to do a two in between there and there I'm going to do a two incline and then the pathway oh yeah the pathway does come uh, oh that's the wrong time the pathway and probably like that like that does come over to meet and they all sort of meet up they're sort of like a load of pathways where people can walk around yeah sort of like that and then you can see I've got this pathway the sort of pathways that come out to little features and I feel like doing like a water feature here there's a big expanse of area so I can sort of have some poetic license and put a water feature in here because the pool area is in between here and the Pachycephalosaurus arena over there and where that mountain is <laughs> and then I've sort of laid out the pathways at the back as from the aerial shots I have of the set as it is all seen uh, I've also started putting in some of the grass here which I need to do but I thought I'd just leave it until I get the pathway in the pathway is going to join up with all the entrances and if you remember from the last episode for those who didn't see this is the entrance to the creation lab which we've managed to filter in here I do like this god we sort of got that right there's the creation lab over there it's already getting dark in here so what I've got to do is make sure it all lights up as well so I think I might do a very similar thing which I've done over here for the like small dinosaurs and these pens I think I'm going to continue with this theme of lighting uh, with the iron blocks and then lighting on top just to make sure I light it all up so that comes around to there and the station is going to go into here here literally over here now I've got all this expanse I can put in a really good station and then the monorail of course comes off round that was just a marker for importing the map don't worry about that if you haven't seen that before and the monorail then flies around out here higher and then goes off where that mountain is well we're going to cut that mountain out so there we go that I thought I'd show that so far I'm going to do a bit more with it and then uh, come back and show you what I've done for the next bit so we've got quite a lot to show you now uh, we can see here that I've started putting in the pathways around the innovation center I'm using the uh, previous video I've shown which has the CGI of the park and how it was put together uh, and uh, that's what I'm using for the template and uh, I'm, as I said I'm going to put a fountain I want to put my own fountain in the middle of that particular area here so the easiest way to do it is lay out the pass first of all I'm going to show you what I've had to do over here uh, lay the pass out first of all and then once you're happy with where the pathway goes you can see here you can then start filling in like I filled in the shaded over there I'm using I am having to use uh, the wooden axe of course but it is quite still slow and laborious because you have to sort of pick the right areas to do it like there and then you have to go sort of go to there and then you can go set uh, 24 but uh, you don't want to ruin it so there we go and when what's going to happen here is we're going to have some sort of uh, uh, oh actually I think I'm yeah I've got some steps because this is where the, it steps up into the next level and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of expand maybe I actually will come out with that what I'm trying to do is uh, make it more interesting and what we'll do is just put that there 
So, yeah, there we go. Put the steps in, and then I think those steps I'm going to take back to this particular area here, if I'm honest, and then fill some more grass in. I want to make it a bit more landscaped. No trees in at the moment, of course. I'm not going to put the trees in until I've finished all the paths. I'm going to sort of this palm trees around here and around here, and then this pathway meets... Uh, the main pathway into the water park this is one of the pathways here so it does take quite a bit of time but what has taken me more time than ever and you can see i've leveled this up and this is what i aim to do just have the level going up i wish there was a, a stepped grass wouldn't that be cool if we had stepped grass uh probably not allowed but there we go uh, and then we're going to sort of bring that round to sort of there so i'm going to step that round and make it go with the landscape once i take that out so uh yeah so it's coming off think it's coming along quite well i haven't put the steps up into the innovation center of course i've got more my innovation center which i'm not going to rebuild at the moment has more entrances than the main one the main one has uh, one two three four five six entrances but mine has eight but there we go uh, so let's what show you what else i've been doing which is this bit over here which is the bridge area going into the first entrance and finishing off uh, the gateway over here. So I'm going to walk in. I haven't done any more of the steps at the front, but hey. So this is the other gateway in and around. You can come around here, step up to, I've already stepped up one level here, see, just to make it a bit na uh, natural. And then we've got the water here. I haven't put any fishes in there yet. I will do at some point. And then steps up onto the wooden bridge here, which then goes into this, into the, look how big this is, kind of thing. it's right over there, it's massive. And then I put the balustrade on and then steps back down here into the walking area, which is going all around the park. And what I've done, if we go time, set, night, I've started to light it up and I said I would. Uh, using different styles as we go around. I put some lighting under it, although I didn't put that, so I missed that one, didn't I, there? I just put, sort of put some lighting in. One thing is, these do not have any impact on the frame rates. So I've got thousands of these lanterns here. So it sort of lights up. I didn't finish off lighting at the pathway yet, because this here would have had, I'm just thinking now, would have had, I'm just trying to put it in to give it a bit oh no that's not what I wanted just a bit of light around here like so see so it coming and probably need one in here there we go so that's all well lit there have done the ramp on the other side so I think that's keeping it roughly I mean the problem is with only using CGI renders uh, and I um, got a bit of poetic license, but I wanted to make that bridge across the pond. And then what happens is we're down to a natural level here. So all this over here, let's go time set day. Yeah, this is the natural level where everything goes. So, so there you go. Uh, so we have brought ourselves naturally to the end of this episode. I have decided that I am no longer going to be doing 30 minute episodes, uh, except every now and again. I'm trying to cut, I'm trying to have this time limit of 20 minutes. I've had to look at my uh, times that everybody watches and everybody just skips through, I think, to watch the most important bit. Some people do uh, watch lots and lots and lots and lots of minutes of my video, but uh, and I have got a high count rate for these videos, so it's been interesting looking at that so I'm going to be cutting my videos to 20 minutes which means you get more out uh, more often and that's the way it's going to do uh, and we're going to show you bits and pieces as we're going but next video not decided whether I'll be here or no I'm definitely going to be in Jurassic Park and I think for the next few episodes we're going to switch between Jurassic World one episode Jurassic Park one episode and keep switching back and two to keep things interested in terms of the building and after we've got, and I've still got a lot of work to do. This pathway uh, goes all the way over there, just miles and miles. And we've got to dig this out as well. But what's good here is this mountain uh, has a, this bit here. Look, has a natural pathway which is based on the real map. 
uh, but it means I'll be able to cut into here and you can see it stays at that level to there and I then cut this mountain out completely for the water park and then re-landscape the mountain on that side which is going to take a bit of fun to do but I'm going to have to do that right okay guys and girls everybody thank you very much for sticking with me uh, if you've come to see me for the first time we'll go back and have a look at all my videos on how I've built this park where we're heading towards November 2016 when we, we started in November in 2014 so this park in by Christmas will have been going two years and it has seen many iterations next time I hope to have this in Minecraft 1.10 I have tested it uh, but I want to make sure I make this safe first so we don't lose it and then come back uh, so thank you very much indeed for watching please like please sub and we'll see you next time thanks very much and bye bye